Sunday night, all of Monday, all of Tuesday, all of Wednesday, now Thursday at 1.45, we finally get to go get the tires put on the Porsche Macan so we can get rid of, one, we gotta figure out how to get rid of all those little bug guts, but tired of looking at this thing. Although it does give it like a rally car kind of cool vibe, still rather have four good working tires so we can drive the speed limit and move on to our next destination. Although this area of Montana, Cal Kalispell, Kalispell, has been really nice. The people have been great. Food has been good. The place we've been staying has been amazing. I'm ready for the next place. Yeah, so this is where we've ended up. We're off the beaten path. So I'm kind of curious how in line you rear end somebody. Did the Jeep back up into him? Did the older gentleman in the Grand Cherokee ram into the back of the Jeep? But literally they're in line. We decided to follow um, John's advice. Go up this road here along the North Fork, right? Okay. And it won't be crowded. It's going to be a three and a half mile line out here. Yeah, I figured I'm here to much. tell you. Yeah. How does this happen? I mean, he definitely smushed up his hood there and pushed his back tire in on the Jeep. It's the reason that's a dotted road is because it's a dotted road. <laughs> okay. Which is why you asked if this was a rental. <laughs> Correct. Got yeah, it. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do the, is this it? Yes. Hard, hard left. Oh, sh so oh, Jesus. So we get in here. Gosh. <laughs> Maybe that's how he hit him. He went to go put on the brakes, and then uh, he hit one of those little bumps, and it just slammed him into the Jeep. Who did what is what I want to know. Did he back up, or did he just not hit the brakes in time? Bumper yeah, down. I was going to say the same thing. Bumper got pushed down. Man, that's yep. unfortunate. It's supposed to be having a fun day. He's got his camper with him and everything. and That's why I got the full coverage and includes everyone else's stupidity. <laughs> Good thing it's a rental. How does it feel to be back in the Jeep? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you open the door and the heat just hits you. You gotta have that automatic start and get the AC rolling. Yeah. Does your AC come on when you hit? When mm -hmm. you... Yeah, that's why I try to pre-start it. But then you got the towel on the seat too. Yeah, I have longer, I wore longer shorts today just so I didn't have to sit on the towel because that's extra heat underneath my butt. And I wanted the top open and the windows down after I dropped the kid off at school because it was only 89 degrees at that point. So I was like, live it up. So a day like today, did you open the top? For on my drive to the beach, I did. Leaving the beach, no. I put the AC on complete full blast and tried to dry off from the sweat. Max, is it too hot for you? Is it too hot for you? What do you think? Huh? He's like, nah, I'm straight. Did he use the bathroom yet? I don't think he has to pee. He always has to pee. He's a dog. Well, I took him out at like 12. No. I think, he's, I think he'd go. Max, you got a potty? You want a potty? What do we go with? Two and a half inch lift? Um, No, not even that much. As far as I remember, I think it's like one and three quarters. I think you're sadly mistaken. Mm -hmm. I think it's a two and a half inch. I'm, su I'm surprised you didn't say one and three fourths. I was going to just mess with you. Two and a half inch lift, method race. Uh, I don't remember the wheel There's model. A squeak now. 12 and a half by 35, 20s. Squeak where? I don't know. I noticed a squeak when I was getting out of the Jeep earlier over in this back area. But not when you're driving it. No. Well, I have the music up when I'm driving it, so I couldn't hear anything. A squeak. Push down the You just need some grease, probably. Okay. Sound like a bushing, maybe. Nope, not on this side. Wait, hang on. Huh. It seemed easier to push this side than it did the other side. Ah, never mind. I'm just saying. I'm just making sure your shocks aren't like. You don't have an issue with one of these Fox shocks or something. Yeah. It's got plenty of ducks. A row of ducks. And back to Porsche life with this extremely dirty Macan GTS, which is unreal. But hey, 
we got tires tires that are holding air pressure as I take a little walk around just to make sure we're still good because we did go to discount tire the other day had a nail in that tire which I picked it up somewhere between uh, Nashville Tennessee and uh, Georgia Atlanta Georgia somewhere between Nashville Tennessee and Atlanta Georgia I picked up a nail in the back driver's side tire or just outside of Nashville which I can't remember exactly where we stayed that night but either way uh, it's fixed it's repaired tires are under warranty so even if they couldn't repair it they would have replaced the tire for like free uh, all you have to do is re rebuy the warranty which is like 40 bucks or something so the plus is we are back in business ready to roll we got an appointment coming up to get an oil change with Porsche here soon and then after that we need to get this car detailed and clean it is a complete mess absolutely filthy inside and out but hey that's what happens when you put on I don't know 6,000 miles driving around the country and into Canada we had a blast doing it can't wait for the next trip the next trip we may actually see some changes up top here and we will see a Thule uh, roof rack with a cargo box and maybe even have a stealth hitch hidden hitch installed and we might even have a bike rack on the back for the trip because there were so many instances where we wished that we had so many different things with us that we could store in the roof rack on top of the car on top of the Macan GTS and have our bikes so that when we did get to some of these national parks we could ride around the parks now i don't know if we would actually take the bikes that we have or at least we could take the girls bikes because they've got trek hybrids i don't think i want to take my imanda alr which is a road bike to a national park so odds are i'd probably end up getting a hybrid or a mountain bike or maybe even like an e-bike or something but we got a ways to go before that next trip and possibly maybe even that next trip could happen in the jeep all right guys now i gotta say that i think that if that were to be the case then the jeep is going to need some modification okay now look i'm not always continuously turning wrenches on these vehicles but i will say that uh i do like to get them dialed in exactly to my liking and make them as functional as possible for whatever trip or journey we may be on and with this lift and this tire upgrade i think that getting the added steering stabilizer installed would be a wise idea especially if we're going to be putting thousands of miles on it at highway speed you ready to go the towel ended up over here oh you got more towels that's the one i took to the beach and oh. that's the one that goes in my seat. where do you want these you can just throw them back to behind me you got paper towels and everything when are you gonna make squirrels? Huh? Make little squirrels uh, instead of ducks. Oh, I gotta find one. You can I gotta get... find a way to do it. Oh, we gotta get the van too. Uh, That's gonna be a whole nother series of videos. So this one here says we should go to Fud Puckers and give a tour, a review, an actual review of the, the, the Puckers of Fud. But there's all the live out in them, plus they have the best squash crab soup I've ever had. Before. They have the only squash crab soup. No. Maybe. Hey, it's another Jeep. Hey. You gotta do the thing, you gotta go. I've already seen them today or heard. How do you know you've seen them already? It's that blue green one. It's like the Mexico blue one. Alright, we'll catch this Jeep and give them the fingers. No, you can't do it side to side, it looks stupid. It's a face-to-face -face thing. Who's coming in on the chopper? Who's got the chopper? Get to the chopper! It's like he's chopping up some trees, tree tops. Somebody asked me the other day, I said, where's G.I. Justin? I don't know. I don't know where he is. Maybe he's in this helicopter. Nah, doesn't look like him. <laughs> so this little Chevy, I can't zoom into it. Is that a Chevy? Yeah, the blue one. It's a Chevy 
It looks like a Chevy. I don't know what it is. It might be. It, it just reminds me of the um, one from Barbie, which was kind of strange because Barbie was all about the regular mom living an ordinary life, and yet she drove this like SS Trailblazer mm -hmm. or, you know, some, some sort of Z06 package Trailblazer. Yeah. And she had like race car driving skills and she was like drifting and everything. Hello, me. You? I'm a regular mom and that's how I drive. Oh my I God. I those kind of cars. Okay, sorry. Don't, our insurance company, don't pay, <laughs> don't listen to her. She's just, she's just joshing you. So, if that's the case, how do you think that this vehicle would do tra driving through the treacherous terrain of West Glacier National Park since you want to take us on these off-road adventures and take these crazy detours? I think you'd do amazing. We've got fat tires on it. I could have climbed the side of that whole thing. All right. Let's take a look. Let's see how our rented Kia Sorento did driving off road in West Glacier. This is a 2022 Kia Sorento. And I'm going to show you around this car, this SUV. Ignore the dent. Ignore that. I didn't do it. It was like that when I got it. AWD. Odd. Sorento. I'm going to show you the inside the outside i'm going to give you a review of how it drives and i'm going to show you all of its quirks and features and then when we're done i'm going to give it a score none of this information really matters to you because this is not a car review channel and i'm literally just talking out of my <laughs> <laughs> so we got super lucky and got a parking spot y'all tell me that's not just some of the most gorgeous views you've ever seen in your entire life so very pretty look at that oh man see yeah i could bring a pontoon out here and hang out all day long